forecast right now at 819 this morning and take you out to the Tarpon Lodge. Looks a little breezy out there with the palm trees kind of flowing in the wind. Been breezy the past couple of days and also cloudy. What you can't tell from this live look though is how chilly things are out there. We're starting off very similar to yesterday morning, uh, ranging anywhere between within a one to two degree margin. Some of us starting exactly where we did this time yesterday morning. That's what those zeros represent right there. So let's do a quick little temperature tour right here. 30s are on the map for your Christmas morning. 35 Arcadia, 38 Punta Gorda, 41 over in Fort Myers, 43 over in Naples. And the wind right now, you saw those palm trees really kind of flowing in the wind out there. Coming out of the north up to about 13 miles per hour is the highest we have right now. It'll continue throughout the rest of this afternoon. Breezy like this. And when you factor in the breeze and then also these chilly temperatures, it makes it feel even colder outside. That is why we do have a wind chill advisory in effect for Glades, Hendry and Collier counties until 10 o'clock this morning. Even though you are not under the wind chill advisory over in Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto and Sarasota counties, you are still very chilly this morning. Also over in DeSoto County, you do have a freeze warning in effect until later on this morning, 10 o'clock that will expire. We have one more night of very cold temperatures. So if you brought in the pets and the plants, keep them inside for at least one more night and then we'll gradually warm up as we have throughout the rest of your work week. With that breeze we were talking about though, we don't have any advisories this morning for all of Southwest Florida's coastline, but some areas are under a small craft advisory and it's a little choppy out there. So the knots uh, up to about 20, 25, depending on where you are going to go boating, seas two to four feet and a moderate chop on your inland waters. We also have a bit of rain coming in on live radar. This is pushing on shore. Had some moderate rainfall crossing over maybe the Immokalee Road area lifting to the north. Uh, also seeing that over in Marco Island. The yellow really representing even more moderate rainfall. Golden Gate in areas maybe just east of Lely starting to dry out a little bit, but we have a couple more showers out in the Gulf that will continue to push on shore. So to time out the rain for you, looks like it really starts to clear up right around 11 o'clock. So maybe when you're having your Christmas lunch, areas such as Marco Island though could still see a spotty shower or two. We will be dry as we head through the rest of your afternoon into your evening hours, partly sunny skies and remaining cloudy as we head into your Monday, but at least we are looking dry. Maybe you have any uh, extra extended family members staying in and you have uh, a couple of extra holiday plans for them. Speaking of holiday plans, any travel, we talked about that earlier being impacted by the weather. Looks like that could be something you have to kind of worry about for at least the next day or so. It is just so cold across across the country, negative three Minneapolis, negative one over in Omaha, 18 over in Atlanta. This is all associated with that cold front that moved through and we will have chilly temperatures for at least a couple more days, but then high pressure builds in. You see the yellow right there. We will gradually warm up as we have through the rest of your work week and into the following week. Yesterday, Punta Gorda actually saw its coldest Christmas Eve in 33 years. These are the forecast temperatures for your cities. The coldest Christmas day forecast for Punta Gorda was 56 degrees set back in 1989. We're forecasting a high of 52 for you today, so we'll see if we could hit that threshold once again. Tomorrow going to be a little bit warmer than your Christmas Day forecast. We'll see a high of 60. Sunshine does return on Tuesday. There's that gradual warm up and by Friday, partly cloudy skies, highs near 83.